Hi, everyone. I'm Andrew Redden here with the JOIN program at Timescale. Welcome to a multi-part series on replicas. Today, we're going to cover the first topic, being an introduction to replicas, how to use them, and the different types available to you. Let's start by understanding what replication is and why it's so important for modern databases. Replication is the process of copying data from one database to another to ensure that all copies are consistent and up to date. That means that any changes made to the primary database are automatically mirrored to one or more replicas. These replicas stay in sync in real time or near real time, depending on the configuration. When a change such as an insert, update, or delete occurs on the primary database, it's immediately recorded in something called a write ahead log or wall. These wall records capture every transaction in a sequential log, ensuring that even if a failure occurs mid-transaction, data integrity is preserved. The primary database streams these wall records to each replica, and the replica continuously receives and applies these wall records to mirror every transaction made on the primary. This design enables replicas to keep pace with the primary with minimal delay, often only milliseconds behind, ensuring data consistency across all instances. In a replication setup, the primary database handles all data writing, but replicas are primarily used for read operations. This provides a few significant benefits. First, it increases fault tolerance by offering alternate access points for your data, so if one instance fails, your application can still function. Replication also improves scalability. By distributing read operations across multiple replicas, we can serve more users or handle higher volumes of data, all without overloading the primary. Another major benefit is failover capability. HA replicas allow you to switch over to a backup copy if the primary database goes down, helping to minimize downtime in critical situations. Overall, replication enhances data availability, making sure your data is accessible, reliable, and ready for your application to use at any time. In Timescale, we support two main types of replicas, read replicas and high availability or HA replicas, each with its own specific role. A read replica is designed to handle read-only queries. This helps balance the load by allowing your primary database to focus on write operations, while the read replica takes on tasks like analytics, reporting, and other read-heavy processes. This approach is especially beneficial in scenarios where you have a large number of users accessing your data, as it prevents the primary from getting overwhelmed with read requests, improving your overall performance. The read replica can be configured with more or fewer resources than the primary, and acts as a separate service with its own connection string. Read replicas can be used for internal use cases and empower analysts who need up-to-date production data by creating a sandbox environment that is separate from production. On the other hand, high availability or HA replicas focus on reliability and resilience. An HA replica is a standby copy of your primary database that is kept in sync, ready to take over automatically if your primary database becomes unavailable. This is crucial for disaster recovery as it ensures minimal downtime and maintains data integrity if an issue arises. Timescale even runs these instances in separate availability zones within a cloud region. Even if an entire AZ goes offline, the Timescale DB still experiences almost zero downtime. HA replicas also work to minimize any outages associated with user reconfiguration, plan maintenance, and server, disk, and availability zone failures. By leveraging HA replicas, we can reduce recovery time from minutes to hours down to mere seconds. So while read replicas are optimized to improve performance for read-heavy workloads, HA replicas are all about ensuring continuous availability. Together, they give you the flexibility and resilience, allowing you to build a reliable, high-performing system. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video.